Hey, what's up? Welcome to video number two on the Thrive Content Builder. Uh, this again is uh, an updated post since I first started playing with this. Now this is the page that we're going to create. So I've already gone ahead and set the whole thing up, but I didn't want you to have to, I'm going to show you how to do each of the elements, but this way you don't have to watch me duplicate the whole thing from scratch. Um, okay, so again, this is what we're looking at. Uh, that we're going to build. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to go over to pages and we're going to do add a new page. And let's do Thrive Content Builder 2 because I will just delete this page when we're done. Now there's a couple things before we just dive into the page that we need to do. Uh, the first thing is that we're going to need to select our page template. And I'm going to go ahead and use the landing page. Now that is a custom page template that I've had done. And then I also want to turn the page title off. So I'm using, this is a Genesis title toggle plugin. And this way my page title does not show up on the actual page. Okay, then all we're going to do is we're going to select edit using Thrive Content Builder. So here is our nice blank white page, and we're just going to jump right in. So if you look at this, what I've done, this is an image, and then we'll jump into the text and dropping another image in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to, over on the right hand side, again, this is our Thrive Content Builder. And again, this is a visual builder, so the point of this is that you can see what you're doing. So you see me drag over the image and when you see the, the dotted lines, kind of the section, you can drop it right there. So we're gonna select add media and you can see I've already put all this stuff in. Uh, I don't remember which one I used here. And normally I would be titling all of these. Uh, the alt tag text, right? So that your image is named appropriately. But in this case, I, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I didn't want the transparent one. So let's go ahead. And now I am on um, my laptop's it's a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and open this back up. So we're going to go back to image. Now I probably I probably didn't need to delete that. I could have just edited it. We wanted like the white background. So you'll see I already did select that and we're gonna insert into post. Okay, and the next element is going to be a text block. And so what I will do is I'm just gonna copy the text here. I don't know what it's gonna copy that image or not. That'll be interesting to see how that goes. We're going to select paragraph text element. So again, I'm dragging that over. I'm gonna drop it into this section here. And you just click into the area to edit the text. Okay, so that did pull the image. And I wonder if there's a way. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Now this is tricky with the laptop. All right, I'm going to just pause this so that I can copy the text and you don't have to watch me do that. Okay, so I just copy and pasted that in. It was, you know, the, the H1 tag, which is this element right here. And again, we can't open up the editor. Uh, because I'm doing this, I'm just actually on the page as opposed to editing the page. So what we want to do is we're going to change this to an H1 tag. So we're going to come up to the paragraph and select H. Oh, I didn't want that for the whole thing. So hold on, let's do a second. Let me do control Z. Let's just go back to paragraph for that. Okay. Hold on, I think I did two. So let's go ahead and save the changes. And so this is a good, uh, this is good that I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna copy this and then delete it. And I want this to be just the H1 tag. And now I'm gonna drag over another text box because you can see I don't want all of this to be an H1. I do want the font size, you can see, I believe I used 18, we'll find out. <laughs> or this might be 14, let's go ahead. And so just select your text. We're gonna come up to font size and let's do 18. There you go, and you can see it changes that right there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And then I've got the image block that I put in. All right, so let's go ahead and let's drag over our image. And so you can put this in and let's see in terms of the alignment how this works. So click Add Media. I'm going to grab our image. And again, you can see that I've titled it Selling with WordPress. Now you're not going to select your alignment from here. You're going to do that all with the Thrive Content Builder. Okay, so let's click on our image and we want it to the right. And here's the cool thing. So you can see that it's wrapping the text, but to change the image size, you're literally just going to drag the scrub bar here. How awesome is that, right? So let's go ahead and click Save Changes. I'm going to hide this so you can see. So you can play with that to get it the size you want, but what's great is you don't need to worry because it looks like if you hover over this, it looks like you can't wrap the image with the text, but you can. You just need to drop it in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we will do our bullet points. So I'm going to just, let's see, it's going to let me copy. All right. And I'll pause this to get these all in, but I want you to see how we're going to do one. And did I drop a divider in there? No. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's open up our Thrive Builder. Again, I'm on a small monitor here. So let's scroll up to our uh, points styled list. Sorry. And this is, I love this, that you can actually see it visually. I'm hoping that they'll get some more options there. So here's our bullet points. So I'm just going to drop in the first one and then we are going to change the font size to this and I think these are bigger so let's do 20. As you can see that. And then I wanted a little bit more spacing. I didn't want to drop that in so let me just show you how I do the spacing and then I'll pause and get the rest of the bullets in for you. So when you're in here, you know, <laughs> I'm on the Mac versus PC, so you want to do shift return to give yourself that extra space. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and drop in the rest of the bullet points for you. Okay, I just, uh, <laughs> I lost everything. I hadn't saved it. So I, what I want to do is at least let you see. So I've copied all these over, but what we're going to do is, again, we want to change the font size. And you don't need to highlight the text like I was doing. Let's just do that for each bullet. I know this is a little tedious. I probably could have done it on just the last one for you. Oops, have it. Let's just do this. And then as soon as we're done, I will save the page again. Probably it just, you know, <laughs> kind of reminds you like writing papers in like high school or college, right? Where it, Hit save. Okay, now I want some extra spacing here because you'll see that that just looks a little bit crowded. I feel like this lays it out a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to hit shift. So it's like a hard return and enter, right? Just to give you a little extra spacing. Especially when it comes to a squeeze or a sales page, you know, you want stuff to be really, I'm not one of those like pack as much information as possible. You want it to be clear. All right, so let's go ahead and save changes there. All right, so now we're, we're cranking along here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this get early notification button. And now what I've done with this, this is a lead box through lead pages where I uploaded the image and I, it opens a box. So you'll see if you click the early notification, so it's gonna open this lead box. So we're going to use custom HTML for that, but I actually do need to get the code. So let's go ahead and edit this page. The live page is already done. We need to edit using Thrive Content Builder. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come down to the button. And I want to edit the custom HTML code, but all I'm actually going to do is copy this. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. We're going to save the changes. Close the page, but let's go ahead and go back to the live page is all I'm doing here. All right, so now we need to drag over our button. So let's go up 
This is one of the, oops, sorry about that, the simple content elements, and we're going to grab our custom HTML. And what's great is you can see that as soon as I drag stuff over, you have the option, um, it, it appears. And so I grabbed the code and I just centered it. Again, you're not going to do any of the centering um, with the WordPress editor. So let's go ahead and click save. There's our button. We're going to save changes and just make sure it works. Oh, we have to do the preview to make sure it works. Wow, I've got too many things open, I think. So let's preview and make sure our button works. Yep, good to go. Okay, and I believe we've got a divider then. Yep, so let's add our divider. Let's scroll over to multi-style elements. We're going to click the drop down so we can see our divider options. And again, you can't see the styles. I believe it is style one. There we go. Now we're going to add in another image, which is what I did for the what's included. So look at all the different green areas where we can drop in more elements. So let's go ahead and we're just going to select our image. What's included. And yeah, what's included probably is not the most uh, keyword friendly thing. So let's go ahead and center this. Now remember, you're not going to do any of the image centering in WordPress. Let's make this a little bit bigger which I love that I don't need to go in. That's probably too big. Yeah, it's a little large. Let's go ahead and make that smaller. And you'll see that you can add custom classes. Again, if you know CSS, you can do that. All right, so let's save our changes. Now we're gonna, we're gonna drop in the columns and I will do, say two. These are all columns, all the modules. So I'm going to go ahead and add two, and then I will come back, pause it, and we'll go from there. So let's scroll under uh, column layout, multi-styled elements. Is that going to open for me? There we go. All right, so we are using, see where it's the one-fourth? So it just tells you. So let's go ahead and click that, and see it automatically adds them here. So I'm just going to come into column one and you see how you can get the whole element or individual. So let's go ahead and click column one, which quickly becomes module one is titled, what are you selling? And I believe that's, I only went bigger. So that is, again, see habit. I think I did 18 on those, but we wanted this bold and underline. Let's do column two, module two. Oops, sorry about that. I'm just doing the text and then I'll drag over the images. You now, obviously you can do this however you want is pre-sales funnel. We're going to make that 18 as well. And we're going to bold and underline that. Okay, let's go ahead and just save our changes. And then I'm going to drop in an image. So we're going to scroll back up. Sorry for getting a little scrolly here. And image. I want to drop it right here. And you'll see where it did the same thing for both of these. So let's go ahead. What was module one? Um, the question mark. And then... And you can see that there's two because I had to play with the styling of this that when I added the transparent background, which is what this is, where you can't see the white, um, it, it automatically defaulted to a gray. And I went ahead and I've already, I've set these up with the, I measured the width of these columns. Okay, we wanted the white background. Okay, so you can see that those are lined up nice. Now, in terms of measuring these, there's a there's Chrome extensions and Firefox that you can do a ruler. Because I use Snagit a lot, you can see, like I just came in, and you can see the measurements, right, where I'm measuring. So it's 235. That was it, right? So I think, yeah, I think the images I did were 235. I don't remember the height, um, and we don't need that. All right, so I will pause this and get the rest of the columns in for you. So I'm, I'm still putting the columns in, but I just wanted you guys to see that all I'm going to do now is just drag over. So I've got the first four modules in. I'm just going to drag over the, um, the one fourth columns again. 
right beneath that. So see where I've got this full dotted section? That's it. All right, so I will go back and pause now. Okay, so you see that now we have all eight modules in. And by the way, this is a legitimate course that's coming out, uh, but some of the modules and, and some of that may be changing, so just heads up. All this content will be included, it's just the order of the naming of it. Um, okay, so you see all these in here, and I just wanted to show you too that while this is collapsed, of course you can use everything, it's just that while we're doing this, I don't necessarily know, uh, remember what each of these are, but you can see that you can go ahead and add stuff with the collapsed menu. Um, so let's go ahead, I didn't mean to delete that. I believe we have a divider again and then some more text. All right, so let's go ahead. I need to open this up simply because I don't remember it all yet. So divider, we're gonna use style one again and I just dropped it in there. What I do wanna do is delete this because I don't want that extra space. And then we've got our divider, okay. And then next we have a content, so paragraph text element. So we're gonna just drag this and there is no image in here. So we should be able to just copy this. I'm just using Command C. And we'll drop that in there. And then again, I think this was probably 18. This was bolded. All right, let's save our changes. Let's go ahead and preview the page right now. Okay, so we are looking good. Pretty much identical, right? Yep. Now we're going to drop in an image, text, and the button again. And you probably, again, we're in preview, so let's get rid of this. Let's come back to our page. So let's drag over our image. And then the last video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you each of these different elements so you know what they are. Um, and what I should do is put them all in a PDF. So maybe I'll do that. Um, then we're going to go ahead and put our image in. And so I just, again, keyword. So let's center it again. And again, you can, wow, I am so redundant with these words. Sorry, you can make the pictures bigger, smaller, whatever. It's pretty awesome, though, that you don't have to resize it. Um, then we have text and a button. So let's just do that. And I apologize if there is a way I've not seen that, that you can just um, copy and paste the elements, you know, or duplicate the elements, which would be great. So let's go ahead, get our last paragraph section in here. We're going to change that again to 18. And then let's italicize the names. Save the changes, and then I need to copy and paste the button code again. Am I missing a button on here? Is the scrolling making you dizzy? I'm super sorry. I thought I had three buttons on here. One. I did, I added a button. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that beneath the modules. But we need to edit it just because we need to copy it. So let's get that back in here too. Let's get our custom HTML. Oops, I don't think I closed that element, did I? Yeah, okay. Let's grab our custom HTML. Put it in here also. And then lastly, we want it here. There we go. Let's save our changes and let's go ahead and preview the page. So there is our squeeze page. That's it. And we already test that first button. I, just to be safe, I cannot recommend this enough that you go ahead and test each of these elements just to make sure because that's a bummer. I've done that before. You publish something and don't test it. So that's video number two. The last one, we're just going to go through and look at the different elements again. Um, so this page uh, will be deleted. <laughs>
That's our preview. But that's it for number two. And stay tuned for the last video where we're just going to look at the different elements and how to edit them.